Hello, my name is Curtis Crane from the Crane Center for Transgender Surgery. I'm both a board certified plastic surgeon and a fellowship trained reconstructive urologist. And I'm here to talk to you about how we get a your medically necessary surgery covered by insurance. Specifically, we're gonna talk about breast augmentation today. Breast augmentation is often not covered by insurance because for cisgendered women, breast augmentation is not typically covered. And so insurance companies make the assumption that because breast augmentation is not covered for a cisgendered woman, then it should not be covered for a transgender woman. I wholeheartedly disagree with this. The difference between a cosmetic and a reconstructive procedure, typically cosmetic procedures are not covered, but reconstructive procedures are covered, is the baseline. What are you starting out with? For example, there's noses that come in all different shapes and sizes. I can think of a hundred reasons why I should have a nose job to make my nose look better, but I'm not going to because I don't really care. That would be cosmetic because we can say my nose is on the spectrum of normal. And so a little shave here, a little tip defining point here, or change of the nasolabial angle is cosmetic. My nose is already normal, but I want something enhanced or changed. So that is a cosmetic procedure. Breast augmentation in a cisgendered woman is cosmetic. It's normal for some women to have small breasts. Some women want larger breasts, so they get a breast augmentation but they had a feminine chest at the start, they'll have a feminine chest at the end. Breast augmentation for the trans community is absolutely reconstructive. And this is what I tell the insurance companies when I do what's called a peer-to-peer -peer review, when me as a, as a surgeon speaks to a doctor from the insurance company. And the typical conversation I have is I say, Right now, this patient has a masculinized chest. This patient has severe gender dysphoria around having a masculinized chest. The only way to alleviate that is to reconstruct the masculinized chest into a feminized chest with breast implants. So this is how it's reconstructive. We're going from a masculinized chest to a feminized chest. In the example I gave with a cisgender woman, we're going from a feminized chest to a feminized chest. So the typical process is I have an, a big team with a lot of individuals fighting to get your procedures covered. And they typically cover vaginoplasty. They understand that. But breast augmentation, some companies get some hangups on. So they deny it. My team appeals it. And then through a process of appeals, we eventually get to a peer-to-peer -peer review where I have the discussion that I just had with the insurance team, uh, with their, their doctor that's employed by them, and tell them these are the differences. And in the end, the majority of the time, I, I would say probably 60 to 70% of the time, unfortunately, the insurance company says, I'm sorry, this is the policy. It says no breast implants. There's nothing I can do. And then I always push and I say, well, if you understand my argument, please, the next time you meet with the authority figures of the insurance company, the administrators, let them know that I'm happy to come and speak, I'm happy to talk to them on the phone. Let them know that there is a difference and breast implants are not always cosmetic. In this case, they are absolutely reconstructive. And so we push the envelope, we try to get things changed We've been really successful at it. When I opened the practice in 2012, I said I would work with any insurance company. I was one of the first surgeons in the US to do that. And at the time, we were maybe 10 to 15% insurance. The rest of our patients were cash pay. And then now, just eight years later in 2020, we're closer to 85, 90% of our procedures are covered by insurance. And that's just come from hard work from our team pushing to get these surgeries covered. I really don't like it when my patients have to bear the financial burden of the cost of the procedure. 
I believe these are medically necessary surgeries and that's why we have insurance. So we will fight for you. We'll do whatever we can to get your surgery covered. Fingers crossed and uh, we'll make sure to get you the best result possible. Thank you.